Hey guys, we're live and we're working, we're on. Okay, good. It's David and Evelise from davidandevelise.com. How are you all? We're just checking the, the computers here. <laughs> so, did you see it? Did you see the movie? The new movie? Okay, go for it. And I'm going to share this real quick while we're chatting. Yeah, so the, the movie we uh, had seen the other night, and you may have seen it, is The Greatest Showman. And uh, it's a story about P.T. Barnum and uh, how he got started. Now, of course, it's not necessarily historically accurate, all of it. Right. But, uh, but what we're going to talk about is based on the movie itself and just take it at face value. Yeah. And it's interesting, we kind of had some takeaways mm -hmm. that we talked about after watching the movie and uh, tied those takeaways into, uh, into business in general. Mm -hmm. And uh, one of the things that we observed about uh, how um, he got started was um, that he, he, um, he found a way because he actually didn't have the means to uh, start the business and uh, he didn't have any assets to speak of he lost his job mm -hmm. but he um he found a way we'll just leave it like we're not going to yeah. give them if you haven't seen the movie <laughs> we're not going to give it away but he he you you could just tell by watching his character um that uh he was going to find a way he was going to do whatever it took to be able to to start this business so that was one yeah. takeaway yeah he <laughs> he found a way which was really cool and he did something um you know very different than everybody else and that's how he stood out so i thought that was really awesome if you haven't seen it it was a great show you can take the whole family to um of course not accurate completely but very inspirational um and very important to like all of those of us who are entrepreneurs and doing our own thing and doing something different, um, that that it really spoke to us in that way. The second thing is he took massive action, mm -hmm. and uh, and that was that was clear. He just he just went all out. He was yeah. all in, and he was going to find a way. Especially in light of the fact that it, he had difficulty selling tickets initially. And instead of curling up and um, giving up, be giving up or becoming more conservative in his approach, he actually uh, doubled down and got more aggressive. And he did that in, in terms of branding himself, in terms of his advertising, mm -hmm. and um, that was really, really poignant. Especially uh, when we look at. Um, you know, business in general, it's, it's very easy to get scared, to get, um, <clears throat> a little freaked out, you know, because you're investing in your business and, um, you don't always see those immediate results. And it's very, very tempting to, to become more conservative, to tighten up. And, um, in his case, uh, at least he actually got more aggressive and, that really, really kind of appealed to us. Yeah. Well, and we, cause we did that too. We've had to be more aggressive with our business and right. advertising and everything. And that was one thing that I learned about him that he did uh, with his advertising. He did things to get people's attention. Mm -hmm. um, kind of, you know, using different things to attract them to him and to the show or to the museum or to the um, circus. And then he entertained them. So it wasn't like, Oh, hey, come see this, you know, artifact that's 100% true. He just got people, he wasn't trying to dupe anybody. He wasn't trying to, um, you know, I don't know what the other, dupe Dece anybody. deceive, deceive yeah. people. He was just, you know, using that liberty of, um, of excitement and something different to see, um, bring them to the show or the museum, you know, because he started out with the museum and then it went turned into the show and then the circus, whatever. But mm -hmm. he um, got them there and then he entertained them. He made them happy. He, um, gave them something they would never seen before. And so therefore that's what the value was. So with, um, online marketing or attraction marketing, um, marketing in general, network marketing, you're, you're supposed to get people's attention first. Um, 
and then and you know attract them to you with value so um, keeping them there maybe keeping your customers you're gonna keep them there by offering value all the time and so that's what we we've seen in our business and what works out there to help you guys is to bring you value um, free of charge you know we're not we're not on here saying you have to pay to get on our lives we're we're here to create um, value and content to give you and therefore you know then we're there for you and work with you and and that sort of thing down the road so um, did you like that? Yeah. yeah I didn't think yeah. that until just now. So <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot to think about with this movie. It was great. I hope you see it um, and enjoy it if you do. Um, and if you are um, looking to take massive action in your business, in your life, changing anything, um, we made that big change. We stepped out and decided to have more of a freedom lifestyle because mm -hmm. we dreamed about it for a long time, talked about it, and we sold our house, moved to San Diego. <laughs> sold our house in Arizona, moved back to David's hometown to where we wanted to be and therefore um, took massive action, made it happen and here we are. So um, it's doable and you can do it and if you want to talk more about it, if you if you want to learn about some different ways, there's lots of different ways to do that. It's not just one way and it's not just what we're doing but there's lots of ways. So um, put a number one in the comments below and we'll get with you or um, chat with you or make it quick and you can, you know, Check out some of the stuff we're doing, but um, even a, a quick 15 minute phone call we can schedule in, okay? Sound good? Yeah, sounds anything good. Else? Did I forget anything? I think that's it. Okay. Hope you guys have a great night, day, anytime. See Talk you on the next you see you on the next video. Okay, bye. Bye.